Good afternoon to you. Hope you're doing well. Run a little late here, but uh, this is David Rotom with Bouncing Triad, body, mind, and spirit. So Bouncing Triad, we all face challenges in life from the small ones like having problems getting with your password as you log into an account online to the more larger ones like getting a cancer diagnosis. And Bounce and try to body, mind, spirit. I had been working that for years and piecing together, and I didn't realize the importance of it until I went in for a biopsy for this tumor in my right sinus. I woke up, and because of complications, I woke up at ICU the next day with a bunch of tubes coming out of me, and when I found out it was ICU, my reaction was okay. I came back the following week, got a cancer diagnosis. I was okay with that there. Went back the following week, had an eight-hour surgery, spent five or six days in the hospital, and I was okay with that. Prior to any of that, when I first got the idea it was a tumor, I had suicidal thoughts. Working my body, mind, spirit got me through that. As well as after the procedure, when I, from a follow-up, when they took the splints out of my sinus, they hit a, two, hit a nerve, and I passed out and had a couple seizures. Bounce and try it allowed me to kind of handle all that with ease, and that's what I am sharing with you, so you can hopefully do the same with the challenges that you face in life, and as well as come to a better understanding of ones you've already faced. So, today's topic, learn from others. You don't have time to figure it all out yourself. No person is a one man or one woman or one person show. You have to have help somewhere down the line to get you where you're at. And if you're watching the videos, you know I'm constantly referring to people I've learned things from or quotes from. It cuts, anytime you find someone that's been there and done that, you cut down your learning curve drastically. And you've probably heard the saying more so in line with it, don't, is don't, you don't have time to make all the mistakes. Learn from, learn from others' mistakes because you don't have time to make them all. So as I finished up lunch there, which is actually part of why the reason I'm late, is I was going through and actually making a list of some of the people that I've learned from. So think about the people that you study and learn from them. These are in no particular order. I just went random like Brendan Burchard. I've learned from, I've read his books, took some of his classes, Dean Graciosi classes, books, Tony Robbins. I uh, got a couple of his books, um, classes. Uh, Bob Pro Tony Robbins, I got to see him a couple times live. Brendan Burchard, I got to speak, see him speak live once. Rob Proctor, been around for a while. Learn from him, late great Jim Rohn, lots of quotes, like some of his classes he's had. Zig Ziglar, quotes out there. Eric Worre, big in the network marketing when I went to his events. I use it as a personal growth, personal development one. Um, Vision Lakiana, founder of Mind Valley. I've taken several courses from them. I read a couple of Vision's books. Uh, Carl James Harmony, learned a lot from him, taking several of his courses. Uh, Mike Gillette, read his book, taking a couple of several of his courses. Ajit Nalbaka. Part of Mind Valley has Evercoach, is how I first found who I took in the class through for coaching right now, in the certification show. Zach Evans, you've heard me mention him before. I've learned some of my training ideas from him, as well as um, ideas he applies to life. Walsh D. Waddles, um, The Science of Getting Rich, back written in 1910. Fantastic book, look that one up there. And it's not just rich, it's not it's talking about finances, but it's also about light in general, which is the cornerstone and foundations for Napoleon Hill's book. Think and Grow Rich, big one out there. Earl Nightingale is another one has been around for quite a while. Learn from him. Jim Quick, I'm still in the process of reading his book, Limitless. I only read a little bit today, and I haven't touched it in about a week and a half. Uh, but taking some of his courses. Uh, Mel Robbins, one thing I've got from her is her five-second role. Got video on that. That's a different topic, but watch her stuff. Cynthia Garcia, she's the one that founded Institute of, National, Institute of Transformation Training, who I'm getting my certification through. Um, David Nagel, learned a lot from him. Uh, Allie Brown, one of the first entrepreneurs I followed and could learn a bunch of things from her. Deborah King, I got energy techniques and read several books. Uh, Richard Gordon, Quantum Touch, I've read his books, and that's the most energy technique I use more than anything else. Uh, Linda Cohannon wrote uh, The Way of Dal Beckless, Way of the Horse, or Ride Between the Worlds and Way of the Horse. Got a lot of techniques about her with energy work that I had experience with and working with horses. Uh, Kim McElroy, her artwork that I got to use for a logo and and she still gets email from her. I still get ideas from her. Dan Millman, several of his books, uh, The Peaceful Warriors, the one that started me off on my journey. Uh, Bruce Lipton, Epigenetics, which has found out that his book was Biology of Belief because epigenetics is a study. He was well ahead of his time. Thought people thought he was crazy, but they find out that your environment can change your DNA. Uh, Robert Hollis, learned a lot from him. He was, originally, was from a network marketing field. Got different ideas from him. Uh, Wayne Dyer, late great Wayne Dyer, several of his books, fantastic ideas. Louise Hay, founder of Hay House, several of her books. And, of course, the whole Hay House has been outstanding. Uh, James Redfield, worked the Salesing Prophecy. Got some nice tips from there, kind of, stuff I remember. Uh, Albert Yoldo, Four Wind School. 
shamanism, got some several of his books, I learned things from, I mean, all these people are learning things from. Uh, Paul Sheely, co-founder of Learning Strategies and the Paralimals, I listen to it on pretty much a regular basis. Simon Sinek, his book, uh, Start With Why, is a big one to think to. Joe Vitale, I've read several of his books, take a couple of his master classes, including once in Ho'oponopono. Dale Donald Walsh, he's the one that wrote Conversations with God. I have not read those yet, surprisingly, it's on my list, but just a little tidbits from there, the guy's just down to earth. Uh, Greg Braden, love several of his books. Uh, Steve Cotler, one of the biggest ones I've read. Uh, one of his books was, uh, was it Finding or Becoming Superman. Talked about getting the flow state, especially with the adrenaline athletes. Uh, T.R. Ecker, nice little ideas in his books there. Richard Branson, always out there going through, especially if you read a, um, Losing My Virginia's autobiography. Uh, Natalie Ledwell, a number of her classes. She's got uh, my movies as well as her book, Wild in My Walls of Dreams. Dawson Church, he's an EFT practitioner, but I liked about his book, uh, Mind Over Matter which shows scientific proof when it came to um, energy work and tapping. Well, that's just a small list. And I just threw that together in a few minutes, but yes, it was probably boring to hear me read that. But the idea is, who are the people in your life that you've learned from? Just kind of make a list of them. And these are just people that are more or less the... Turn my screen off here. Those are just more or less the people that are formal teachers, if you will. Books, educators, and that. That's not including all the people that are friends and family members I've learned from. So take a moment to consider all the people in your life, both virtual like many of these are for me, the one physical and whatever format they come in that you have learned from that will help bring you to the person you are today. Which ideas you borrow, which ideas you kind of put together and made your own thoughts are. Who are those people? Let me know your thoughts on that. If you want to, go ahead and list a couple of those names in the comments around here. and Let me know what, who's the people have the biggest influence on you. And again, that's just a small list. I went through, uh, one that I think about, one I went through my uh, Kindle list, and okay, here are the books I've kind of read through. So that's a little bit of a list there, but yeah, okay, a little bit of long-winded one here, but I just want to give you an idea of some of the people I learned. I'm going to give a shout out to each of those people because they've helped form, form who I am, form my ideas, my thoughts, my basis. So who is it for you? All right, we'll cut that off today and have yourself a good time and bouncing to you. Bye-bye.